Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Seen Beyond and Through with Monty. Today, we're going to examine a little known fact about singer Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey is making a lot of news here lately because of the meaning of Mariah Carey. Her new memoir, which details part of her life. And part of that life involves a romance with this man. This is Mexican singer Luis Miguel. Now, Luis Miguel Gallego Bastin, born uh, April 19, 1970, he's age 50 now. Uh, he was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Interestingly enough, his father is from Spain and his mother is Italian, but he's a Mexican singer. So I'd, it, it, probably they um, immigrated to Mexico. He became a Mexican citizen, uh, national, I guess. So I'm not quite sure what the story behind that, but um, he's counted as being a Mexican singer. Now, many people were very surprised that they dated. They had no uh, clue. I'm taking that these particular people are new fans of hers because those of us who are of age, we knew that they dated between 1999 and 2001. But I want to touch on something that she stated that he had a problem with. That was a contention of... Of their that was in their relationship that they had arguments about that it seems like um, he really didn't like but I want you to hear this he would always insist that he didn't see me as black we'd have these arguments and I'd explain no when your dad is black it makes you black so you're going to have to accept that about me but in his mind, if I didn't look black, I wasn't. For him, it was simply skin deep. He may have been the Elvis of the Spanish-speaking world, but when he came to the United States, no offense, but for the most part, I was the star of the show. He'd been through a lot and lost his mother at a very young age. From what I'd been told, his father was very difficult and controlling. I tried my best to support him emotionally, but I was going through my own shit, and it got to a point where I could no longer deal with it. We were not helping each other heal. At his best, Luis was generous, spontaneous, and passionate, but at his worst, he was erratic and anxious and had a dark cloud hanging over his head. After three years, I knew it was time for us to part ways. We had a good run, and I still have fond memories, but ultimately, he wasn't the one. As the great Cole Porter wrote, It was great fun, but it was just one of those things. Well, there you have it. So, according to Mariah Carey, Luis Miguel had difficulty with her being black. Now, here's the thing with this. When someone argue, argues with you about your race or ethnicity, it becomes a thing of contention. They're questioning it. They're not really happy with it. I think it's time to go. I just don't think that you should have hung around with someone who obviously has racist ideologies for a three-year period. What is the point of laying up with them, allowing them to use your body, have sex with them for three years? Arguments about whether you are black, you don't look black, you shouldn't consider yourself black. I didn't like the idea of you claiming that you were black. It just shows right then and there that they had a huge problem with that. That goes into being racist. Now, with his father being Spanish and his mother being Italian, that does not surprise me that he would have that particular ideology. And it's obviously that he did not really want a black female. It's obviously that, you know, he showed her. And what is that old saying that when people show you who they really are, believe them? You can tell right then and there that she's very happy with him. She was she was um, glowing, kind of. Look at that smile. Uh, uh, she's into him. She's very much into him. But he was into her. But just not the black side of her. There she goes again. Look at her. Look at her smile. She's really much into him. But 
there was just a part of her that he could not accept, that he did not want, that he was not happy with. And he let her know. But you could hang around for a three-year period with a racist. Here they go on the beach right there, frolicking. And uh, you got to look at it like she's this global superstar here in the States, all over the world, actually. Even though he did not want to cross over, he still could have used her to boost his fame with the Latin audiences around the world. Because that gave him a lot of publicity. But the lesson here, though, if someone is arguing with you about your ethnicity, about your race, they're having difficulty with you making that claim, they do not like how you are self-identifying yourself, know that that person is a racist, that they do not like that particular side of you. If he wasn't a racist, it would have gone the complete other way. It would have been, wow, I cannot believe you're black. I'm very happy about that. Tell me more. Let me see pictures. He would have been fascinated by it. He would have loved to have um, met her family, the black side of her family. It would have gone just a complete opposite. But he let her know that he was not happy about the black side of her. That he was not happy about her claiming to be black. And that should have opened her eyes to a lot. Now many people just say that they just found out that they dated because of the new memoir. Well, I've been new about that since, you know, 2000, 1999. I remember reading about that. Look at how she's much into him. Very lovey-dovey, cozy with him. A lot of that could have had to do with, too, I believe she was ending her relationship with Tommy Matola, and she might have felt a sense of freedom. So she could have been blinded to the fact that about the whole racial thing, if you were so suffocated by, you know, your first marriage or first long-term relationship, that she was not thinking straight. Because at that particular time, I do believe that Mariah was in her 30s. And that's old enough to know better, I'm thinking, though. But for a three-year period, you stay with them. And then he reportedly broke up with her. Now, I don't know why they broke up. She just said that he wasn't the one. I don't know if it was finally he couldn't deal with the fact that, you know, her being a black woman, her claiming she's being a black woman, identify it as being black, or it could have been something else. Now, I do know this. I remember this. After they broke up, I've seen a picture of her with her wrist taped. I don't know if she tried to harm herself or she broke glass, but they claim that this was a, the uh, headline at the time. Mariah has suffered a breakdown. And then it goes on to say that, you know, it talks about Mariah Carey is under psychiatric treatment in a hospital today after a nervous breakdown and a suspected suicide attempt. The 31-year-old singer's publicist, publicist denies that she had to try to take her own life, but Carey's mother apparently made a distress call to the emergency services last week after her daughter was discovered in her New York hotel room bleeding from a slit wrist and cuts to her body. She's cracking up. I think she's going to kill herself. Her mother is uh, quoted as having told police officers after Carrie was taken to Worcester North Hospital, where she remains uh, since she's been checked in as an emotionally disturbed last week. Her spokeswoman, Cindy Berger, said Carrie had canceled all public appearances after experiencing an emotional and physical breakdown. She dismissed tabloid re reports that the singer tried to commit suicide. She said that just before the breakdown, Carrie suffered cuts to her body, but the injuries were unintentional. She did she did break some dishes and glasses, and she may have stepped on them, said Miss Berger. She's taking it day by day and is resting and improving. Carrie is at a critical point in her 11-year career, that was 11 years back then, after signing multi-million dollar contract with Virgin Records, was allegedly depressed about the breakup of her three-year relationship with Latin. It goes on to say Latin singer. Let's see if we can pick up from this. 
Oh, here it goes. Uh, after the recent breakup of her three-year relationship uh, with Latin heartthrob Luis Miguel, he was her most serious boyfriend since her failed marriage to uh, Sony Music Chief Tommy Mottola. Despite selling tens of millions of albums throughout num through numerous number one hits like Fantasy, Dream Lover, Always Be My Baby, her current singer Loverboy has been languishing in the charts. She also faced the pressure of publicizing Glitter, the movie about an aspiring pop star due to be released in a few weeks that she stars in and provides the soundtrack for. Very underrated soundtrack. I liked it, by the way. Uh, just before being admitted to the hospital, Carrie left two despondent and incoherent messages on her official website, complaining of being overworked and getting in, getting too little attention from her new record label. She joined Virgin from Columbia Records, where she got her break. She said she wanted to close her management company and take a rest. But Miss Berger said nothing had changed and her management remains the same. Last month, Carrie made a surreal, impromptu appearance on MTV's Total Request Live. What is that? Dressed in little more than a lavender t-shirt. She also made a publicity appearance at a Long Island shopping center where her publicist eventually took the microphone off her to stop speaking. Now... That was a very difficult time in her life. Um, just to show that she, it was rumors that she was despondent because he eventually dumped her. I don't really know what happened. I don't know the nature of the breakup. I do know that was the story back then. I do know that I've seen her with bandages. Pictures of her I should be out there floating around with her two wrists bandaged up as this story confirmed. I think her publicist did confirm that. Um, you know, being in a relationship with a racist, many people get the notion or idea that because they are sleeping with them, the person cannot be racist, or they think that somehow they can change them. They don't realize that throughout their history, there have been many racists who have had relationships with black people, with half black people, with mixed black people. That does not make them any less non-racist. So it seems like to me that he was just there for a little run. A little run to get the publicity that he can to farther his career along. But he really had no intentions of being with her long term. And obviously, as what I stated before, it's obvious from the arguments, the constant talking, that he had difficulty with her identifying as black. As even being half black. It seems like he just did not want her to even mention that or talk about that or to even remind him of that. So, no, I mean, you could have seen the writing on the wall that that was not going to end well. And that's just a lesson out there for people, for all of you, male and female. If someone is having difficulty with you being black, they're questioning it. They're not really accepting it. They want you to identify as something else. Now, I'm not talking about a Rachel Dolazar who has no black in her. I'm not talking about someone who's white, who's chose to identify as black, who does not really have the bloodline or the genes in them. I am talking about people who are mixed with black, particularly those who are half black and half white. One parent is black, the other white, who chooses to identify as black. Okay, if someone has a difficulty with that, then that probably is not the person for you. Note what they're saying to you, know what the notes or what the argument is about because they are telling you a lot. And, um, had Mariah would have listened to that inner voice, I'm sure she had one, would have paid attention to certain signs. Is someone questioning you, probably telling you, No, you're not making a decision for you that you are not black, arguing about it, that speaks volumes. Know that that person is not for you and it is time to go. It's time to send them packing. You can save yourself a lot of heartache if you make the first move. And with that,
that was another edition of Seeing Beyond and Through. And I will see you beyond and through.